I bought one of these tiny SAs and it is a mini spectrum analyzer. Fits in the hand here. They're available at a very reasonable price on Amazon. And I have it connected to an outdoor TV antenna here. And you're looking at part of the RF spectrum in my area. And today I wanted to show you the difference that an FM filter or FM trap can make for your over-the-air TV antenna setup. FM radio stations are often much more powerful than local broadcast TV stations, and they are definitely a possible source of noise or interference. And here we can actually see the difference that installing an inline filter can make for your TV antenna. Being that I'm just a hobbyist, I don't really have much experience with these types of devices, but this one seems pretty easy to figure out for the DIYer. All right, here's the tiny SA setup on the bench. I've got it connected to my Televis antenna, which is outside, and I had to use an adapter on the coax cable. This is an RF to SMA adapter because these little inputs on the spectrum analyzer are like little mini RF connectors, but you need this SMA adapter to connect it to the coax cable from the antenna. We'll just have a look at the spectrum from zero to 250 here now. Now I've got the indicator, this little tiny uh, number one here. That's like the indicator. It's at 6.92 megahertz. You can see that's bouncing up and down. I think what that is, is probably all of the power supplies on my bench here. I've got a bunch of digital converter boxes and satellite receivers and other stuff connected to a power bar. And all of those uh, external power supplies generate some RF noise. If I go over here and switch the power bar off, you can see that a lot of that seems to calm down. There's still other stuff here that's causing some kind of noise or something there. But anyways, switch that back on for now. And then moving the cursor along, I find that this uh, stylus is helpful, but it's uh, not super touchy though, this, whoops, this indicator. Doesn't, it's not very responsive, I guess the right word is. Okay, this is low VHF TV channel 2, CKPR in my area. You can see that the levels of it are much lower compared to some of the other signals on the graph here. This is RF channel 4, CHFD, another over-the-air TV station. And then these large peaks here, these are the FM radio stations in my area. There is 94 FM, this is CKPR radio, this is CBC radio, and this is, I think, Magic 99 it's called, 99.9. .9. And this is 105 FM, that's a very powerful country station. These broadcast with like 100,000 watts of power compared to like 1200 watts for the TV stations. Now if we go over here, I'm gonna grab that indicator though. All right, got that one finally. I had to cut the video there because it took me forever to drag this indicator over from those FM stations. 161.7, this group of peaks here is the weather band radio stations in Thunder Bay. I think ours is at 162.475 megahertz, if you have a weather band radio. And then over here is VHF TV channel 9 uh, TVO. So you can kind of get a look at how do the RF signals in this area stack up in terms of their uh, levels or I guess amplitude. Now we'll connect that FM filter and see if we notice a difference on the spectrum here. So I've got the FM filter in line. Uh, this side is the antenna coming in and the FM filter works here and then the output goes to the 
spectrum analyzer and you can see a big difference on the spectrum here there's tbo rf channel 9 and there is the weather bands and come on you Okay, these are the, here is the FM radio part of the spectrum here. You can see that that FM filter completely eliminates those signals. And in my area, I don't really have any FM radio interference because there's enough of a buffer between the over-the-air TV channels and the FM radio band. But if you live in an area where you are experiencing some interference, maybe on RF channel 6, if you have a, a TV station that broadcasts on RF channel 6 or in that area, then an FM filter might help. And this is a graphic display to show you that indeed FM filters do make a big difference in silencing very powerful FM radio stations that may be a source of RF noise on your over-the-air TV stations.